How many of you have gone to a bar and they say, let me see your ID, and then phew, they put it through a scanner or they put it under a camera and whatever? Pretty much everybody. Well, you should know that that does not only stay with the bar, it goes into a big database, 17 million new, not 17 million, 17 million new records a year get added. Even from states where driving records are closed due to privacy, thank you very much, you've just given it to a new database. Now, <laughs> Rambam's first law of data use. All data will eventually be used for some unintended purpose. Perfect example, Domino's Pizza. How is it that when you dial 1-800-crappy-pizza or whatever their number is, <laughs> they are able to route that call to the Domino's next door to you, even though it's probably ringing in Nebraska in a prison somewhere or something. <laughs> it ring, the, the person who answers it is your local Domino's and he says, hi Bob, what would you like to order today? The answer is, they have access to the CNAM data, they have access to your previous purchasing history, they have access to a whole host of databases, and they built the biggest customer database in America. Bigger than Walmarts, bigger than Sears, bigger than the car companies. This is the biggest consumer database in America. And let's say you're trying to hide from your ex-wife, let's say you're trying to hide from the cops, you never think to hide from Domino's. <laughs> yeah, this is Bob Jones. I'm at 123 Main Street. Yeah, I'm the guy who always orders, you know, the extra pineapple, double deep dish. Yeah, okay, bring a couple of bottles of soda. See you in 20 minutes. U.S. Marshal Service bought this database. So help me God. This database is now being used to track down felons. So if any of you are wanted, and you've recently ordered Domino's Pizza, move. <laughs> <clears throat> Who else has bought pizza databases? NYPD, U.S. Marshal Service, collection agencies, credit bureaus buy it up. By the way, I'm going to start going through this a little bit like a speed freak, because in 45 minutes we're going to do the Q&A, which is always the best part of the talk, and I want to leave a full hour for that. <clears throat> Points of purchase. Every time you use a credit card, every time you use an affinity card, Every time you use a frequent purchaser card, it goes into that great database. Why? People want to know you buy pork rinds. People want to know you buy five, six packs of beer a week. There's stuff they can sell you, you lush. You know, <laughs> like, like AA mailings. Now, it sounds like a joke. Remember Rambam's first law of unintended data use. Or unanticipated data use. Stop and shop, or stop and rob as we used to call it. The supermarket chain decided, hey, we've got all these stop and shop affinity purchasers who we know everything they buy and everything they like. And guess what? We know if they eat salty food. We know if they buy a lot of booze. We know if they buy the extra fatty bacon. We're going to sell this to the local HMOs. And the HMOs are going to be able to use it to do underwriting on your premiums. Is it likely this guy is going to stroke out or fall drunk in front of a bus and we're going to have to give him more medical care? This is good for us to know. So they started a program called, obnoxiously called, Smart Mouth. Now, by the way, the uproar in Boston was so great, so enormous, that they even had local assembly hearings about it, stop and shop said, okay, okay, we changed our mind, we won't do it. Perfect example, though, of what's possible. Investigators, holy grail number two. Now it gets scary. Trackers. First thing I want is your photo. So I know it's you when I find you. Second thing I want to do, as soon as I get that photo, is find you. Let's talk about all the ways that I can tell where you are at this moment or where you are at any given moment in time. Well, you use Microsoft, any Microsoft program, you boot up the laptop, you start up the computer.